Hello and welcome to another tutorial video on Pygame. In this video, what we're going to be looking at is primitive shapes, squares, circles, lines, etc. And coordinates, two-dimensional coordinates. Before we get started, I'd just like to mention that these scripts are available to download from my Google Drive and I'll post the link for that in the description. Also, you may notice that some of the code in the script you won't recognize. That's because we haven't covered them in the video and we won't be covering it in that particular video either. But I'll highlight these with areas like this, not covered in the video. And you can choose to have a look at this bit yourself at your leisure. A couple of changes you may have noticed are the display width here. I've set, I've now set that to 1280 and the display height to 720. What this does is enables me to show you the display surface in full screen. Also, I've added the display width half and the display height half. This is just to make the code more compressed. Instead of having to write display width divided by two or display height divided by two, I can just simply reference this variable here. Also, the event handler here, that hasn't changed. But as mentioned before, there's another area here that's not covered in the video. What these functions do are just draw lines to show positioning and the mouse position. There's also a few lists here which help define the points of our polygons. And that's pretty much it for the changes outside of our main program loop. And let's have a look at that now. Here we go. So we've got our infinite loop here. We've got the event handler to check for closing of the screen or our escape. And this is our first line that we need to look at. So here we're calling the Pi game library, the draw class and the rectangle function. This tells us where we're going to draw our rectangle. And here we're going to be drawing it to the primary display service. Here we've got the color 255, 255, 255. And they represent red, green, and blue. I'll go into colors in a later video. This set of four values here represents the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the width, and the height. The X coordinate is 250, and the Y coordinate is 250. The width of our rectangle is the half of the display width. That's not the width of the monitor, but the width of our primary display service. In this instance, it's 1280, so that divided by two is 640, and the same with the height. This parameter here tells our rectangle function whether to fill the rectangle or not. If it's a one, you'll get an outline, and if it's a zero, you'll get a filled rectangle. So let's see what happens when we run the script. Here we go. This is what it looks like once you've run it. And what you'll see as you move the mouse around on the display service, the X and Y values change. The X represents the horizontal position of our mouse and the Y represents the vertical position of the mouse. Now, if we go back to the script, what we see is the X and Y coordinates of our our rectangle's position are 250 and 250. The first one being the X coordinate and the second one being the Y. And we can verify that by lining up the mouse with the first point here, which is 250, 250. And if you remember, the width of the rectangle is half the display width. So our display width is 1280, half that, 640, so 250 plus 640 is 890. So if we check that, 
there we go verified so let's see what happens when we change this last value and if we run our script we can see that the rectangle is now filled so now we've looked at rectangles let's have a look at lines what we'll do is we'll uh, comment this line back up and then we'll uncomment this line here now what this line here does we'll go over it calls the pie grain library the draw class and the line function again we're drawing to our primary display surface the color we are setting to blue red and green values are zero and we're only using the blue value here this differs slightly in that we have two sets of parameters that define the coordinates the first set of coordinates are the start of our line and the second lot of coordinates at the end of the line so in this one we start 0 0 which is the equivalent to the top left hand corner of our display surface and that is the bottom right hand corner of our primary display surface also this value here sets the line width but in this case we're using a width of five pixels so let's have a look at this code in action and there we have it our big blue line that goes from the top left hand corner which is zero zero to the bottom which is 1280 by 720 have a play with the values to so you know what those two coordinates do and as you can see the line thickness is five pixels so that's lines explained now let's have a look at circles again we're calling the pi game library the draw class and the circle function drawing to our primary display surface color white and only one set of coordinates in this parameter here the x and y coordinate what the circle function does is it draws the circle with the center point as our coordinates what I've done in this particular line of code here is put the circle in the middle of our display width display width divided by 2 display height divided by 2 and I've given the circle a radius of 150 again with the last drawing functions you can see the last parameter sets the fill so in this case our circle will be filled if you want it just an outline then use zero. So let's have a look at this script in action. And there we are. One outline of a circle here. And if you remember, we specified the coordinates for our circle to be in the center of our display surface. And the circle is automatically centered to those coordinates. So that circles now let's move on to polygons we'll just comment this line out here uncomment this one here we'll save the script and I'll just go over what this line does so again we're calling the polygon function this time we're writing to the primary display surface the color will be white but this time, instead of just single coordinates like the circle, we have a list of coordinates that joins our lines together. In this one, we have three lots of coordinates to make a triangle. And we're going to fill the triangle so that value needs to be zero. So let's see what happens when we run this script. We've created a polygon with three points that makes a triangle. 
So let's have a quick look at the other two lines. If we just uncomment that, we can have a look at hexagon. And there we've defined one, two, three, four, five, six points for our polygon to use to draw its to draw this object. The polygon function automatically closes the object like that. Let's have a look at the last one in our polygon collection. And as you may have guessed, we've now got eight points. It's important to note that polygons don't have to be symmetrical. The coordinates can be anywhere within your display surface or even outside your display surface. They can have a positive or negative value and they can even overlap. So we're nearly at the end of this video. I'll just, just put that back to the way it was and explain these three lines here. All these do is they draw the rulers along the top and the left hand side of the display surface and also the coordinates when you move the mouse around. You can take them out, you can leave them in. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, the script's available on my Google Drive and the link is in the description. Also, it's worth pointing out that within the uh, Drive Tutorial 2 folder, there's also another script called Rectangle. And I'll give you a quick demonstration of that now. Obviously, the, the code is a little bit complicated um, and instead of explaining it, what I'll do is I'll just run it because that's primarily what it's for. So here we are. This is what happens when you run it. As you can see here, we have our code and the rect function. So this rect here draws this square here. It's white. It has an x value of 590 a y value of 310 and a width and height of 100. Also, it's the fill value is zero, so it's a solid white color. Now, what we can do in this, in this demo is use the mouse wheel to change the value of the code. So here we can change the red value like that and the green value and the blue value. We can also change the X position and the Y position. Also the width and the height. And also we can change it to fill or outline. So that's pretty much it at the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed yourself and I'll see you next time.